guys, what's going on? Tarbuck here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Center 2019 on Sandy Bay map. And we got the 4640 here. We're going to be using it today. But I did realize that we have a pickup to pull the new dry spreader home. So we're going to run over here. And we're going to jump in it. Unhook the hay trailer. Jump in it. Unhook it. Start it up. And we'll leave that there. And we're going to go get a new dry spreader today. Now the audio is probably a little loud. That's a little better, looks like. So we're going to hook on to this dry spreader, and we're going to take it down to the shop. Probably unload it here at the house. That is the new, nice new feature about it. So we'll just, I don't know where to unload it. Probably just right here is probably the best spot. And then we're going to take this down to the shop, so... And then we're going to go get our new dry spreader. Now it's not really new. It's pretty old. As you saw in the thumbnail, it is a lot older than this. However, it's a lot cheaper and more realistic for what work we're doing. So the old Chevy's bounce around. Now the one thing about this pickup is it's really lightweight in the front. And it's really lightweight in general. I don't know why that is or how or why they made it like that. But it just is. So that is one thing. The interior is pretty good. The RPM gauge and the miles per hour works. And all that. It's a little high in the front. It could be dropped down. The cab could be dropped down a little bit. A little lower. Okay, so we're rolling in here. First thing we're gonna do over here, sell it, and hit the trash can, once again, I always hit things, just cause I like to do things fast and quick, and always in a hurry, so, sell that for 34000 we're gonna buy the new dry spreader, wherever it's at, dry spreader, fertilizer technology, this is the one from 17, it's a good older style spreader a lot cheaper and we're also gonna pay off our small loan there we go or most of it anyway we get the pickup we'll hook on to it so we'll back up to it hook on and we're gonna fill it with some lime because we do have to spread lime since we plowed, we have to spread it. Um, I don't know how many that was. That's fertilizer. So, okay, good. We can switch it over still. So there's four there. I mean, there's 8,000 total on the pallets, so it should be able to fit everything in there. Also, the mud flaps on this do spin, looks like. Move back and forth lights don't work a lot of mods the lights don't work just because it's harder to make the lights work it takes a lot more effort to convert the lights and make new lights for the game than it does to make the mod run like it is there's really no errors in it so I mean, as long as there's no errors it's fine for me anyway so we're gonna take this back to the house unhook it we will hook it onto the 4640 and we'll start spreading some lime. So it's probably going to push the pickup around pretty good just because it's so heavy of a load. Now, in real life, you'd do this, so I mean, we pull our dress better with our pickup down the road. So it's really not, not too unrealistic to do this. We even unhook it for a load. And it works fine, but we don't drive like crazy people like I do so that's one thing yeah if I can make it home in one piece yeah I think it was messed up ooh I don't want it to fall over this end uh oh yeah yeah we definitely just oh. there we go how many 
times will it fall over? I can unhook it. I'll just unhook it. Play it safe. There we go. So we're going to take this back to the house, and we'll hook the 4640 up to it. Alright, so we're making it up to the house. We're going to go and swing in here. We'll just drop the dry spreader probably in the middle. We might swing around them. Drop it off there. Looks like it's going to roll. Of course. If it's 19, you have to have everything stopped. I thought it was going to roll backwards. Probably will. We'll pull this pick up in here. We do have to put the combine away still. From all that bean cutting. So we will jump in the 4640. Fire it up. And we do have to take the plow home still. So that is one thing we have to do. We're going to do it. There we go. Wow, that sits like real close. I don't know about that. That's strange. So we're going to go to this field. We will start spreading some line. It's just a little ways over here. We might buy another field. Might put in some money to buy a field. We'll see how it all goes. But I'm just going to start right here. Start going back and forth. I'll probably use a lot of lime, honestly. You usually do. I don't even think I can spread all this field with this tank. So one thing, we'll be curious to see if I can make money or if I'm just losing money in this game on how it's set up right now. So, yeah, I'll probably keep track of all the totals. That way, tournament time, I know how to farm. Um, that way, if spreading line really does help you out or if it just crashes you more. Because I know it will be a lot harder to win just because one thing we won't be using a lot of mods and the other thing is that you have your own farm now and you don't just start out with 10 million dollars well you might we might make it they'll probably make it see so start out so much but then again it keeps track of what you sell and all the stuff you buy so it's not just on everybody when you buy like fertilizer and stuff it'll actually come out of your bank account and so that'll be kinda nice I'd like to see that so yeah these tires get dirty quick looks like on the tractor they're not going to Looks like that's one thing they didn't convert which this tractor tractors are a lot harder to convert because you got lights you got the in-game like the displays on the dash and all that the first person ain't bad. Um, and like the gauges and wipers, I don't know if they work or what. This thing sure uses a lot of lime. Like, I don't think that new spreader would have used this much. It might have, I don't know. Curious to see. But we'll just shut it off on the end. Line up about right there. Take the rows down. And I'll probably leave small skips everywhere just because I don't want to overlap too much. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably go get the pickup. This is when it'd be nice to have a grain truck and a loader. Yeah, we're definitely running out. A grain truck and a loader because then you can go load up the pallets. See, because now we're empty. I think one more load, maybe two. So I think we'll go get 16,000. There's my pickup. Actually, we can put some on the flatbed too. So I think we'll get 16,000. We will. Oh, we have a telehandler here. Guess we can't load them on the flatbed. We're gonna take this trailer to the farm shop and load up a couple lime bags. There's one, two, three, and that's all I can afford right now. So back to taking the loan out. 
So yeah, a bag is four hundred and fifty dollars. So that was a few by a couple more. I think that's four, but I'm not sure. Don't want to buy too many. And then we will go to the shop and get them. Okay, so we're rolling in the shop. We do have three five. So we're gonna buy I'm gonna buy six, seven, eight, I'm gonna buy ten. That'll be what? Ten times two, twenty thousand. So basically a trailer load. And you're gonna take a while to fill. Oh wait, are they not delete okay. I see. I was hope I was hoping they were deleting stuff. And then we'll pay back our loan, our small loan. We got a $25,000 loan right now. It's really hard to play with the stock game. Um, like, as much money as you put into the equipment, just to start out, you're like, like there's really no point to it because you're already so much in debt by the time you buy everything. Like, right now, the combine, the junkiest combine, if you were to go buy this in real life, I guarantee you it would not be a hundred thousand. Uh oh. We got some weight problems. That's not good. Got a little bit of weight problem. Let's We'll keep pilot on, why not? I don't want to make two trips. Actually, maybe I should have got the, like, tow. Tow behind thing. I think I'll still be able to steer, though. Wait, how are we going to load this in, though? I didn't think about that. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a bucket. And a telehand. We're actually just gonna drop that right there. Man, this pickup's just light in the front end. Like, it does not want to do anything. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the telehandler down here. We'll probably just reset it, honestly. Well, then we'll lose fuel. I'll go ahead and drop it down. We're gonna buy a bucket for it. Whoops. We gotta go to telehandlers. Buy a bucket. I'm done. We're out of money. Borrow a couple thousand. And we'll click on the bucket. And buy it. What else should we maybe possibly need? It's really nothing. Maybe that. I don't think we'll need that. Um, we'll drop this off here. Actually, what we could do. Yeah, we'll just drive this down there, I guess. Okay, so we're rolling up here. I did think of something we do need to get. And that is some pallet forks. That way we can load our seed, or our fertilizer. Fertilizer and seed, I guess. Now, if this doesn't hook, oh my. Are you kidding me? I was hoping that would hook up. Wing. Darn, that sucks. Might just have to reset some stuff. Well, we'll load the fertilizer up. There we go. Put this one there. I guess there's only a couple pallets. Well, there's one out by the gate. Oh, come on. There you go. And then spear this one and that one, and we'll load it up on the flatbed. I think we can do two wide. Oh yeah. Ooh, there's some weight. Look at that. I'm gonna try and push it as far forward as I can. Kidding me? There's a collision up there. Well, 
I'll just have to dump them off, I guess. Just have to set them up. Oh, dang it. Come on. Set them on the roof. There we go. Push them up there. Strap them on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why there's a collision up there. That's weird. But I'm thinking maybe we can get some weight up there so that the trailer doesn't flip me over. So it's a pretty good size load for that. I want to get straight with this. It's all angled and wonky. There we go. That way it stays. That way the pallet fork stays in. The deal. When I set it up on here, show it forward, detach it, and it should stay locked in. We'll see how that goes. Then we have to get in our pickup, start it up, back up, hook onto it, and hopefully it doesn't pop a wheelie. Probably will. sucks. Well, I guess we can unload some. Yeah, I guess we can. Wait. Why does that pallet slide around a lot? Oh, it won't lock on with that. That's nice. I wonder if we were to trade out the bumper. Oh, plus we gotta color coat this, too. We'll do... Oh, you can customize it. Wait, can you sell them? Oh darn. Dang it. Let's see if we can just get the pick up. Darn. Okay, well. What shall we add to it? I wonder if we can dump... I'm gonna figure this out. I'll probably just take it home with, like, lease a tractor or something. But I'm gonna try and dump it in the bunk bucket next to just to take out a couple thousand liters yeah that pickups are really light in the front end very very light I don't think I'll be able to dump it in but we might be able to sweet we can you know 2,000 probably won't take out oh it'll take out a good amount not enough but then we can at least... Man, that's kind of heavy, actually. Look at that. That telehandler doesn't like it. I don't think it'll dump. Yeah, it just says no access. Well, we can always... buy another fertilizer spreader. So I know in real life you probably wouldn't do this. However... Actually, I'd probably just reset the bucket. I wonder if I can pull this with the telehandler. But we'll dump it in here. We probably can't even dump it in. That would suck. There we go. So yeah, now you can dump in the buckets. I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like to know I can unload into the bucket. There we go. Dump a little more. Maybe the front wheels will come off the ground. I'll probably put half in here. And of course, I'll have to take the telehandler home. We'll do one more bucket. And then we'll see if we can hook on to the that on the back of here. I don't know if we'll be able to. We're going to try it anyway. Awesome, we can. Okay. So we will dump this, fill up the bucket again. There we go. Ooh, it's back heavy, huh? Back heavy when it's loaded. Man, it still ain't full. That's strange. 
We're gonna be full by now. Alright, we can probably... Yeah, it's still gonna be a little tippy. Just a little tippy. We might as well dump some more out. There, that'll be good. Okay, so we'll take this back to the farm. Pallet Forge are so gonna slide off. We're gonna slam them all forward though here shortly. We can hit something at an angle. There. Now what I could do is cut a log and set it on the back and strap that down. But kinda hold it in that way. But I don't think it'll go in too far. We do have a lot of the load off, so. So I'm gonna take this back to the house, take the spreader and the other telehandler back to the house and we'll finish the line. Okay, so we arrived we arrived with the spreader and the loader. So we're going to load it up. And we should only have to spread the line every time we plow or every three years. And if you plant corn, you have to plow behind it. Potatoes, sugar beets, like root crop stuff. I think grass, maybe. Well, grass, I don't know about that. But, but we'll be able to back it up just a little. Then unload into it. There we go. Another full bucket. Should be able to turn. Extend it out and dump it. There's a lot of weight. I didn't realize that lime was that heavy. Like, it's pretty heavy. Like, even for this telehandler, it's, it's a pretty good sized load for stuff. There we go. But yeah, we should be able to finish this field with what we got. We should be able to finish the farm with what we have. Pretty sure. The only downside to this old spreader is when you hit I, it doesn't unload. So we might run two of them anyway. Just because when you need to fertilize, you need to fertilize. And we're going to call it full enough. So we'll probably end up having two of them around just until they get it to unload. I can probably get it to unload myself. But that ain't going to be for a while. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish this field. Probably finish the next field with it. And I'll probably time lapse this one for sure. So, anyway, if you did, if you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. And we will see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock.